What's up guys, Matt Ace here, back with another video. Today we have a sad day. Not really. Today we are shipping off some birds to Oklahoma. Um, I got some, I got a Peter Puerto Rican Kikiriki. They should carry the short leg gene in them. And if they throw them back to, if they throw this rooster back to this hen, they have the same dad. But yeah guys, these guys are going out. Again, these, these are half Oding this game. That's the Peter Puerto Rican Kikiriki as well. They're going out today. Got the box ready. You see how I got the box set up. And we have a little pair in here. Kind of have it zip tied. You can see I put a little hole, just push the zip tied through um just out of that one they take a shit it's more than enough space for these little guys again they're really small you can see them yeah. Bing. i'm gonna let them get a little more sun before i take them out here they are in the box but yeah guys got back back from alaska not too long ago a lot has changed my dad has shipped out quite a bit of birds for me as well since i was gone on vacation he had shipped out about a trio for me um so you know there's quite a bit of birds that are gone and we have some new birds coming in as well i share again the same passion as me the love of bands i'm sharing just sharing the love of chickens man raising little miniature chickens man and it's just so awesome when you see them hatch it's a great feeling it's something that you can't even describe or anything you just gotta buy your own chicken again just live shipped out some birds today and yeah we'll, we'll check on the yard do a little tour of what what we have now um a little update since again we just got back from vacation Yee um again it's just part of the game you hate to see it but sometimes you just got to make sacrifices for you know, what you want to do again i know exactly what shape and color i'm going for now um when i first got all my bantams i just wanted a little bit of everything which is okay but sometimes i get a little chaotic and too much to handle so i, I decided to kind of downsize and focus on certain colors and um certain shapes because i am going for a certain shape i'm trying to mimic my dad's game file make it the smallest as possible as i can no, no. Please don't go Hold me back Make me so Yeah, here's a little like a brooder I guess you could say for like my older bird Kind of where I haven't run free range Yeah, I just showered so since it's like the summertime man I will be like showering like like midday Just to fucking cool off and you know, get all that sweat and that sticky icky off me Again, this is kind of what I have right here This is all my pens Um, and then I have that That's pretty much it The rest are all my dad's um, But here you can see my Sumatras They are pure Sumatras You can tell if it's a pure Sumatra One by well, obviously the tail and all, whatnot and the comb But if you look at his spurs I mean, fuck that I want to show y'all Come here, boy but if you look at his spurs, hold on, let me grab him. All right, so if you can see his spur, it has three spurs. That's how you know it's a pure Sumatra. And you can see it one right there, two. But yeah, guys, she only has two eggs inside the nest because uh, we, were, my dad, when I was in Alaska, my dad had moved all the eggs in the incubator because I didn't want them getting bad. I wasn't sure if she was gonna sit on it. But also now I know that those are all pure. On um, the ones in the incubator, um, some of them are crosses. So we'll see what happens, what comes out. I also have like two crosses like already hatched that are already out of the incubator, if that makes sense. And they're Sumatra roundheads. Not brooder, I guess you would say breeding area. Yeah, I had moved this space out in the back kind of made it a little space so i can go back there maybe add like another fly pen or something so i can go back there i'm kind of still debating what to do with this area not too sure I'm trying to take advantage of the space that i have and make it efficient because it's not a lot i'm very thankful for what i what we have you know but yeah all these are pretty much empty right here these two are empty six and seven um and this one's empty these birds are going out but yeah these birds are going out uh especially because he has a girlfriend now but he is a peer holding his game bantam and he's going out with the henny hen so he'll be going out and then in here got a hen sitting on eggs still season's almost pretty much done i got one more month and then this hen she had five eggs uh five six seven eight nine ten she has five eggs of ten but three died i had moved in a little chick one of my dad's game foul chicks i shouldn't have done it i just felt bad the mom left it so it had mites on it and was just like chirping so i had like try to treat it with some mite stuff then i put her with these guys because i figured since it's a new chick she'll take care of them but the mites end up getting on her chicks and she ended up picking at the chicks trying to take it off and then they end up dying sad thing wake up to and see in the morning when your chicks are dead but um yeah you've been running from the silence silence but yeah guys here are the pure OEGBs. the dad's are, the dad is going out but i am keeping the mom yeah and then down here they're quarter of kikiriki three fours OEGB. yeah that's exciting get inside y'all get inside get inside y'all go inside go inside go inside hopefully i got some hens in there those starting to look spangled now like a dark spangled plan on getting a rooster for them soon and for that hen soon uh he should be here tomorrow hopefully he's here tomorrow i'm very excited again i got a couple of birds coming in but yeah that's pretty much it for my setup um don't again like i said y'all i don't really have much right now i got rid of a lot of birds I had to make 
make some sacrifices and stuff like that. I lost my job. Um, they had fired me. But I'm not going to go back for my job if I didn't do anything wrong. So these babies that you see around this hen, and they're all round head yellow like hatches. But I don't know if you can see that bright yellow one. It's very young. I don't know where the fuck it came from. Pretty sure I have an idea where it came from. But the mom adopted it. And like, it's not picking at it. Not killing it. Nothing. The babies are not killing it or picking at it. Yeah, it's just like an adopted chick. I thought it was cool to see. I also have like two hens over here that are like co-parenting. They hatch like, they sat on eggs at the same time. And in the same area. But yeah, the hens are like co-parenting. So they're raising freaking chicks. But yeah, those babies are yellow like hatch, round head nick, and yellow like hatch for some more power, round head for that brains, and of course the power from the seal that's a little bit in that bloodline. But yeah, y'all, speaking of game foul here, my pure hennies had moved them out, trying to get them a little different space. Uh, I do need to get some grass. I can tell that the hen's peeking at him just because of the lack of grass. Yeah, I've noticed with some of the bantams, uh, especially with kikadikis, people, they add that plastic or that metal or ring around their beaks to stop cannibalism. Um, again, I'm still learning, y'all, but I think that the reason why like the birds are like eating themselves or picking at them is just because they're just having lack of greens. Again, that's why we like give our birds like fresh grass, like since we don't have no grass in here anymore because all the birds ate it. We go outside and the grass that grows outside, we like kind of, I hand pick it. Dad just cuts it with a lawnmower and throws it in. Yeah, I like to just rip it. I think it's just, you know what I'm saying? I guess grass is grass, green is greens. But I do like them to like see like that grass, you know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, the rest, Dad's game foul. A video specific on game foul one of these days. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I also have this little coop that I built. Uh, this is like my hen pen. Ain't nothing in it right now, though. Got a wasp nest. That's cool. Can you see that wasp nest? That's always nice to see, brother. A nice wasp, but... Ready, one, two, three. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. What's up, dog? Pull up, boy. Pull up. What's up, boy? No, 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 no. Also, while I was in Alaska, dad added these little things. They're just like shade for the birds to kind of keep it cool during the summertime, obviously. Yeah, I think it's a little vibe. I think it'll also help out with the hawks. Um, we got to kind of adjust it and secure it a little better. But yeah, these are all my game foul chicks. I am missing a few. They did slip out the sides. I had to cut off these little corners, like right here, too. So I kind of put them in here when they're too young. I have eight. I have eight of 13. They're here. They're literally on the outside. <laughs> all right, there's two right there. Are those the three? You mm, know, they look too young to be mine. It's cool. I'll probably find them when it's nighttime. They're usually tired and shit like that. So they'll probably go over there again because that's usually where they eat and drink water. So they'll probably go over there again at night and roost up somewhere. So I'll probably find them and throw them back in there. Um, I also got to figure out, probably take some like cage wire or something. Like recycled wire. Close up those little gaps so they can't come out. It's just kind of really annoying. I just got to set up the air compressor. Work. Oh, get inside. Can you tell them what we're going to be doing? What are we doing? Let's go. You want me to grab it? I can grab it. Want me to grab it? You got it? All right. I do it. I do it. I can do it. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, shit. I'll meet you over here then. <laughs> I guess she got it, man. Hurry up. I need it. So once again, I'm grabbing some grass for the birds. I like to pull it. I don't know. It's like them picking that grass, you know what I'm saying? It's like fresh grass. And it's pulling out the weeds. At the same time, bro, I've got to be careful though. There might be spiders. All right, Ava, can you say something? All right. Come on. Watch out for you. Get her on that. Oh, you want to carry this? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Don't take it from him. Try his head button. Give it to him. There you go. All right, so we're giving the birds some green, some grass, some fresh grass again, because they need it, man. They need fresh grass. <laughs> we got to give it to a lot of the hands, too. They need it, especially. I'm giving dad's birds some greens, but I'm definitely giving mine extra. Not gonna lie to you. Again, filming a vlog. Vlogging and live at the same time. It's like, ah!